What's up guys? Got this uh, new lure from Euro Tackle. Uh, had to get it delivered twice, I believe, because the uh, first time it got delivered to the wrong place. And so we're gonna pop this out and take a look at it, fish with it for a while here, just kind of see how well it is. It feels pretty uh, quality. I mean, I was messing around with it earlier and it does have a pretty nice feel to it. It's sort of uh, hefty, more well-made than most uh, small crankbaits like this. So I got the bluegill pattern. We're gonna go ahead and toss this around, see if we can catch some fish. I was out here yesterday, kind of testing the waters with a uh, rooster tail. Uh, seems like a pretty good spot to be fishing at. I'm using my uh, South Bend five foot rod with a Fluger tree on reel. It's got a four pound P-line floor clear. And then of course the Euro Tackle uh, mini crankbait. I'm a really big fan of everything finesse and everything small. I got a couple more Euro Tackle products, mostly uh, the soft plastics and stuff, of course, but uh, this is the first one that I'm really gonna be focusing on because this year I wanna use more hard bait plastics, more uh, crankbaits and so forth. So this is a really good start for me besides that Rebel Lure I'd used on the Frankenbox. All right, well, this is a good spot. Let's catch a decent amount yesterday with the rooster tail. Had caught in a ton of uh, rock bass and got a decent small mouth and then a little bass but hopefully today uh we can catch up onto a couple more fish see big cats in front of us it's a big one oh there we are feels like a fish maybe not Oh, yeah, it's a little guy, but hey, we got something. Little fish on the Euro Tackle. Let's go ahead and pop him off. All right, I'm actually very happy about that. It's a uh, pumpkin seed. Wants to eat bluegills. It's right up in his eye. There we go. Look at that, it's a gorgeous. Woo! And there he goes. <laughs> there he goes. First fish. Let's try that out over here. Oh, there we are. Now we're on it. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. That feels like smallmouth. Oh, that definitely is. Look at that. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. About dang time. Gorgeous smallmouth right here. I was wondering when we were gonna catch one. I figured at some point today there was gonna be one. Just gotta get this hook out of his mouth without poking the crap out of myself. Come on, there we go. Look at that, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous smallmouth. Beautiful colors on them too. All right, let's go ahead and let him go. Nice. All right, so I'm heading out to uh, Second Lake. Uh, the other one was getting a little bit crowded. A lot of people were fishing and uh, there's some music going on. And I don't want my video to get copyrighted. So heading on over to uh, Carter Lake to toss that out and maybe some worms, catch some uh, rainbow trout if uh, the uh, micro uh, crankbait doesn't work. All right, so we are at the Second Lake. We. Uh, we're fishing out the other one earlier and wasn't having too much luck besides that uh small mouth and then a couple rock bass just way too many rock bass so hopefully we can catch some regular size bass here with the uh i guess it's the euro tackle z crank i think that's what it's called i don't remember what it said on the box but the z cranker or something it's pretty cool very gorgeous how still it is today it's just non-moving back up this is a detrimental spot raised weeds that just stick straight up over here and I think I'm caught yep oh I'm on a fish no I'm not I think I'm on just weeds I'm on a fish or I'm on some weeds I can't tell I think that's just weeds, yeah. 
Nope. <laughs> I'm on someone else's fishing line. That's what I'm on. What is this? Let's see what we've got right here. I was wondering what that was. Oh, oh my gosh. What? I just caught a rainbow trout. How did I do that? Oh, this trout must have been on the line and it got snapped off. That has never happened to me before. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that line or the hook out. I don't know how this fish was still in there, but let's toss him out into the water. There he goes. I cannot believe that just happened. That was nuts. Oh, I've poked the crap out of myself like three times already with these hooks. I hate messing around with trebles. Oh, there we are. We got something on there. Nice. First catch of Carter Lake with the uh, Z Cranker. Looks like a uh, bass. There we go. Look at that. Nice bass on the Z Cranker. Pretty, pretty decent looking one. Oh man, he's all sorts of messed up. Let's get that off of him. Sweet. There we are, guys. Nice little dink sized bass at uh, Carter Lake with the Z Cranker. Let's let him on out. There we go. Sweet. All right. Last little destination for me here at a uh, lake for a bounce. I don't know what that is. Big old bomb cast out there. Start with like a small retrieve. Bluegill in front of me. Oh, there we are. Oh, he's still on. Nice. Nice little rainbow trout. Whew. Got ourselves a decent fish. All right. All right, look at that. On the Z cranker. Out his mouth. And we'll just let him go. Whew. That's awesome. There we are. I knew there was something up. Oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, we just gotta dig them through those weeds. <laughs> nice. Yellow perch right there. That's a gorgeous one. Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, that is painful. That is painful. Ooh. All right. Well, even though he stuck me, got ourselves a nice rainbow perch. Look at that. He's really showing those colors off. Absolutely gorgeous. Great colors on him. Whew. There he goes. Thank you guys for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'll be back out here pretty soon with the uh, Z Cranker. I really enjoyed fishing it. Uh, Euro Tackle makes some great stuff. Uh, yes, yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully more videos coming out more soon.